satin bonnet. Satin, sa, what did I say? Satin. And you will retain length. And guess what? Your hair will grow long. You are shocked, right? Bye. 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 Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Lizzie. And today I am going to be doing an expose from the title you can already see that I will be talking about the causes of hair breakage and how to stop it. Yeah, we have to stop that nonsense in this year 2021. It cannot carry on. So, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell just beside it to be notified anytime I post a video. Yeah, I do natural hair content every now and then, so make sure to subscribe so that you get to see more of this. Because, I mean, if you don't, it's your loss. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. First cause of breakage, so far as our hair is concerned, is dryness. Your hair can never be well moisturized and break off. It's not possible. The first reason, the main reason why our hair will break up is because is Did I say break up? Well, the first reason why our hair will break off is because it is dry. So, the first thing you have to do is to curb dryness from your hair. Okay. So the first thing I do whenever I want to moisturize my hair, what I do is I spray some water on my hair, then I apply my leave-in conditioner, then I apply a cream like shea butter, then I apply oils. If you don't have leave-in conditioner, that's totally fine. You can actually just spray water on your hair, apply your cream like shea butter or coconut butter, they are coconut butters, then apply some oils, any oil of your choice, but I use olive oil. So that's how I moisturize my hair. Very simple. Go ahead, spray some water on your hair, apply some butters and oils. Simple. Your hair is moisturized. But you just have to do it constantly because our hair is dry, especially this hamatan season. Hey, as this hamatan season is coming, not going to shine to anybody. Please make sure that your hair is moisturized. Now, number two is using the wrong detangling tool. Huh. I don't even know how to explain. Okay, so I have a lot of combs here, but you see all this, they all have their time of usage. These are two sizes of Afro combs. This is a detangling brush. This is a fine comb. And this is white tooth combs. Now, the thing is, most people tend to use fine combs on their hair. When you use fine combs on your hair, it will break. It is def there is no magic that you want to do. Your hair is gonna break. You are seeing how the pattern of your hair is, and you're still going ahead to use fine combs like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're throwing this out. We're throwing those out. Afro combs. Afro combs are used to pick out our hair. Like when I do a high puff, I use this to fluff it out to make it look fuller. When I want to wear an afro, I use this to pick out the roots of my hair so it looks fuller. This is not a detangling tool. What did I say? Auntie, stop using Afro combs to detangle your hair. Wa <laughs> Go and get yourself a white tooth comb. It's not expensive in the market. Go and get yourself a white tooth comb. You'll be doing yourself a whole lot of favor. Your hair will stop. Not that it will stop breaking though. It will reduce breaking. Avoid using fine combs find by very small brittle bristles make sure that you use combs that have wide spaces as your hair grows longer i'm telling you things are going to change the way you used to comb your hair when it was much smaller because like i can remember when my hair was very short i use an afro comb and i'm on my way now nah. who oh, hey, who dash me this is a styling comb to me it's a styling comb so please avoid using afro combs to detangle your hair the next cause is using the wrong detangling method. There are different methods with which we detangle our hair. You have the finger detangling method, using a white tooth comb, using a detangling brush, and also working in different sections. But now, the mistake most people make is combing their hair in big sections. 
that would definitely cause your hair to break as your hair grows longer you have to work in smaller sections i have a video on how to detangle your hair you can go and check it out it will really help you to detangle your hair properly now moving on wearing your hair at the wrong time wearing your hair at the wrong time can cause your hair to break for instance um here in nigeria it is very dry now but in the hamatan season there's still dust around and the humidity level is very low that's the amount of water in the atmosphere is very low so wearing your hair out at this time all wrong is very wrong <laughs> because the weather is very dry so if it's now that you want to pack your pot fancy the same mistake please put it back in your weave as you can see my hair is in two weaves two big weaves because i cannot be wearing my hair out at this time it's very wrong the weather is too dry for our hair so now you need to increase your moisturization and reduce wearing your hair out now is the time to protect your style when the weather or the humidity level is very dry like this you cannot be wearing your hair out it's not a time to pack puff i know you are a fine apple but please please pack your hair inside for now after the the hammer turn or the dust has passed you can now bring out your hair again and be doing fine apple but for now how to keep your apple inside okay with it moving on the next cause is lack of protein treatment or excessive protein treatment now what's a protein treatment a protein treatment is a treatment that contains protein basically so we do protein treatments when our hair is weak our hair is made up of keratin which is a type of protein and because of that when our hair is weak we have to do a protein treatment to strengthen the strands of our hair i just did a protein treatment not too long ago and i had have that video up my own diy i came up with you can check it out if you need ideas but you can actually get packed protein treatments in the market so Either ways, there are still there are some protein treatments that contain egg. I'm using this now because it contains it um, has to do with me. I faced such situation before when I was starting my natural hair journey. I used to put a lot of egg in my hair. I didn't know it was a protein treatment then. I just to put it because like I saw a lot of YouTubers do it, so I was just doing it too. Funny story is that my hair began to break off. Why? Because my protein treatment was becoming excessive. There was no week I washed my hair that I did not put egg. It was me and egg were five and six so anywho just make sure that you are not doing excessive protein treatment neither are you doing too little protein, protein treatment because if it's excessive your hair will break up if it's less if you are not doing it at all then your hair would also break so when do you do a protein treatment personally i do a protein treatment once a month you can do it once a month or once in six weeks so that it's not too much get my point moving on Lack of deep conditioning can cause breakage. Now, why do we deep condition? We deep condition because we want to um, soften our hair so that it will be easier to manage. But when you don't deep condition, your hair is going to be hard. Personally, I have incorporated this into my wash day because in past times when I was not deep conditioning, I realized that my hair was very strong and very hard to manage. But each time when I wash my hair and I deep condition, I get the best results. So, what is a deep conditioner? A deep conditioner is actually not a regular conditioner, but it's a type of conditioner you can put in for about 30 minutes to 1 hour. The regular conditioner we use can be used for like 15 minutes. But a deep conditioner is something you get that you can use to condition your hair for about 30 minutes to 1 hour. Before I was able to get a conditioner, this was what I did. But it actually did work for me. I would mix conditioner with a lot of oils, and put it in my hair wear on a shower cap or nylon bag and use heat and by the time i was done my hair will feel very very soft so if you don't have a deep conditioner this is actually something you can do it's an alternative for a deep conditioner but if you do have the money to get one do go get yourself a deep conditioner you, there are so many of them but my favorite is the ors deep conditioner or um, deep conditioning mayonnaise that is what i like moving on now your lifestyle um, or the, the your health habits affect your hair. Now um, coming to the aspect of feeding, if you are not eating properly, it will definitely show in your hair. 
if you're not drinking enough water it will definitely show in your hair so your your lifestyle your habits affect the strength of your hair it can cause your hair to break when you're not eating properly eating enough proteins can never be overemphasized especially if you want your hair to grow you have to constantly eat proteins your your diet has to be rich in proteins now let me give an instance i don't know why in this country nigeria when we are eating rice i don't know our rice will be very big then the meat on top will be like you know crowning of i don't even know how to explain it but the meat would all be like this very small i don't know why but please let's increase our protein intake especially if you want to grow your hair increase your protein your protein intake personally i started taking soya bean tea I started using soya bean as uh, milk in my tea and it has actually been nice because um, it has helped to increase my protein intake. I cannot, um, I cannot increase my meat by myself because I'm not the one buying the meat. But apart from meat, we have legumes that can give you proteins. We have um, um, yeah, legumes, mostly legumes. So please increase your protein intake, even if it's not from animal proteins. You could just, um, help by um, substituting animal proteins for plant proteins. It will really help increase your protein intake, increase the amount of water you're taking, take enough fruits and vegetables. It would affect your hair when your diet is, is not, you know, so be eating balanced diet you can never be very fast moving on sleeping without your satin bonnet will break your head whenever you are you are about to go to bed it is very important to protect your hair if you cannot get a satin bonnet get yourself a satin scarf a bonnet is a cap made up of satin that used to protect our hair while we sleep now the reason is because satin is a smooth material you could either use satin or silk but it's a smooth material and using that smooth material um it doesn't interfere with our hair our hair is very kinky and coily so when we lie down on cotton material the cotton material tends to attract our hair and like cause it to break so Using satin bonnets or satin scarves to sleep is very important. It can never be overemphasized. Don't sleep with your hair like that on your pillow. You could actually get satin pillowcases too. That's also important. So do not sleep without your satin bonnet if you do not want your hair to break. Moving on. When we skip our trimming exercise, your hair will break. Now, why do we trim our hair? We trim our hair because the ends of our hair get rough over time begin to have split ends that's when one strand splits into two or they begin to have knots and tangles so if you do not trim off those knots and tangles enough your hair will be good. there's no way that
conditioning into your routine anytime you're washing your hair you incorporate deep conditioning i have said that my best deep conditioner is the ors deep conditioning mayonnaise so if you want to try it out to so go ahead and try it out it's a very good product start eating balanced diets auntie start eating balanced diet so that your hair will be healthy and your hair will grow long and it will stop breaking start eating balanced diets no more carbs too much carbohydrates in your food is not necessary increase your protein level it's important your hair cannot grow without protein so please increase your protein level it's important satin bonnet satin sa what did i say satin bonnet go get yourself a satin bonnet or satin pillowcase or satin scarf these are three very three important things you need i have a satin bonnet i have a satin scarf so i can interchange when one is dirty i use the other one so do get yourself a pillowcase if you want to or you get yourself a scarf or you get yourself a bonnet please stop sleeping without your satin bonnet it can never be overemphasized please don't sleep without a satin bonnet i beg okay next never be afraid to trim your hair please don't be afraid to trim your hair it will do you more good when you trim off those excessive ends or those ends that are no longer good your hair will stop breaking and you will retain length and guess what your hair will grow long you are shocked right your hair will grow long but over trimming your hair you will not see any length though everything we cut off it will cut off it will go away so please trim your hair have a trimming routine like me i trim my hair every six months twice in a year so please get yourself a trimming routine sometimes i trim more than twice in a year if i see more knots and tangles but please get yourself a trimming routine okay so we have come to the end of this video i know you loved it i know you loved it so i'm very very happy that i've told you guys the causes of breakage that i know about if you know about any more you could also say them right down in the comment section go ahead and give this video a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't very very important and yeah share to your friends and family so that they know what is causing their hair to break so that they can retain some length and you know grow some long hair you know what i'm saying Okay, so see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.